Chapter 55 Jason Jason waited alone in cabin one. Annabeth and Rachel were due any minute for the head counselor's meeting, and Jason needed time to think. His dreams the night before had been worse than he wanted to share, even with Piper. His memory was still foggy, but bits and pieces were coming back. The night Lupa had tested him at the wolf house to decide if he'd be a pup or food. Then the long trip to the south to... He couldn't remember, but he had flashes of his old life. The day he'd gotten his tattoo, the day he'd been raised to a shield and proclaimer of Praetor. His friends' faces, Dakota, Gwendolyn, Hazel, Bobby, and Raina. Definitely there'd been a girl named Raina. He wasn't sure what she'd meant to him, but that memory made him question how he felt about Piper and wondered if he was doing something wrong. The problem was, he liked Piper a lot. Jason moved his stuff to the corner alcove where his sister had once slept. He put Thalia's photograph on, back on the wall so he didn't feel alone. He stared up at the frowning statue of Zeus, mighty and proud, but the statue didn't stare anymore. It didn't scare him. It just made him feel sad. I know you can hear me, Jason said to the statue. The statue said nothing. Its painted eyes seemed to stare at him now. I wish I could talk with you in person, Jason continued, but I understand you can't do that. The Roman gods don't like to interact with mortals so much, and, well, you're the king. You've got to set the example. More silence. Jason hoped for something a bigger than usual rumble of thunder, a bright light, a smile. No, never mind. A smile would have been creepy. I remember some things, he said. The more he talked, the less self-conscious he felt. I remember that it's hard being the son of Zupiter. Everyone's always looking at me to be a leader, but I always feel alone. I guess you feel the same way up on Olympus. The other gods challenge your decisions. Sometimes you gotta make hard choices and the others criticize you. And you can't come to my aid like the other gods might. You gotta keep me at a distance so it doesn't look like you're playing favorites. I guess I just wanted to say... Jason took a deep breath. I understand all that. It's okay. I'm gonna try to do my best. I'll try to make you proud. But I could really use some guidance, Dad. If there's anything you can do, help me so I can help my friends. I'm afraid I'll get them killed. I don't know how to protect them. The back of his neck tingled. He realized someone was standing behind him. He turned and found a woman in a black hooded robe with a goatskin cloak over her shoulders and a sheathed Roman sword, a gladius in her hands. Hera, he said. She pushed back her hood. To you, I've always been Juno, and your father has already sent you guidance, Jason. He sent you Piper and Leo. They're not just your responsibility, they're also your friends. Listen to them and you'll do well. Did Jupiter send you here to tell me that? No one sends me anywhere, hero, she said. I'm not a messenger. But you got me into this. Why'd you send me to this camp? I think you know, Juno said. An exchange of leaders was necessary. It was the only way to bridge a gap. I didn't agree to it. No, but Zeus gave your life to me, and I'm helping you fulfill your destiny.